So what's your, uh, what's your Luxor background, buddy? Um, I don't have one. Ah, uh, well, that, you, you, you have an Erlang background, or, or an Erlang Not even background. that, I have a strange background. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I used, I like, can tell you about my programming background. Mm -hmm. I used to be an iOS developer, I started like that, and then I became a game developer, mm -hmm. and then I became a functional programmer. Uh -huh. And so, your uh, company, uh, Paris Trichinger, right? Uh, what, what kind of things do they do then that would motivate you to come to an Elixir conference? So, we do a lot of uh, embedded stuff in Erlang and some mm -hmm. in Elixir, and we make for industrial automation and the automotive industry. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm here is I have a talk about making a graphical IDE in Elmer Puskit, which is more a front-end kind of thing that it's probably interesting for Elixir people because they mm. tend to like Elm oh, quite a bit. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> like Elm. Uh, why? Why is uh, specifically Elixir conference? Why not uh, maybe an Erlang conference? But well, they asked me. Ah, so <laughs> you, you were invited. That's I was invited. Prestigious. I like that. Well, uh, you've got an interesting perspective considering that you're not necessarily of an Elixir background, but you're here at an Elixir conference. So, from that perspective, uh, what do you like uh, that you see around? conference that you see done? Or? Well, it's a very cheerful community. Everyone is very happy, which is yes. nice. And uh, everything is quite about making things nice. And mm. I don't know, it's quite pleasant, pleasant overall, even though I don't, I can't relate to many talk because I haven't done that. I've done a bit of Elixir for myself in my own time, but I haven't really used it in anything for anything in production. I understand. Uh, is going to an Elixir conference uh, motivated you to possibly try and learn Elixir more? Well, I already learned, uh, yeah, more. Well, yes, but the problem is I don't really have a use case now. Ah, I see. <laughs> so I don't have anything to use it for. Just write your entire IDE in Elixir. Yes, yeah. everything, yes. Uh, you said you're a game developer, where I was like, Erlings at WX Tools, which has OpenGL, so just you know, make a game completely in Elixir, client and server. Well, that is actually a fairly tricky problem, mm. which I was talking to the guy just a moment ago. Really? Yes, uh, about game development uh, with functional languages. So it's a, problem, it's a problem in general, but it's specifically interesting in Erlang and Elixir because it's got this amazing ability to do things concurrency, in, concurrently, and you know how to use that in games. Mm -hmm. You will have to figure it out yes, because so people are using it for the backend, and that makes sense. That is the normal way to do things for those servers. You but see if you or something. Yeah. Yes, but if you want to do it for the front end or the rendering and the, like uh, the entity component system, that sort of stuff, then you will need to think about it. And I think Verding does some of that. He has a talk about. Uh, synchronizes components or processes in Erlang for thinking of game development back in Code Mesh 2015, I think. Oh. So I always mean to go back and look at that and try to figure out what it meant, but I haven't yet. Sounds like a plan. Uh, pleasure talking to you. Pleasure talking to you.